J. Jackson films. Uh, Snowflake Butthole. Uh, the Sky is Orange. We had the, um, had the gig at the wine cellar last night and it was a great success. Um, the one playing with glass shards on tick and lesbian death sluts from hell. Everybody had a great time. We got a good crowd. The crowd moved around a lot. Um, we sold some merch, we got some money off the ticket sales. Um, it was an all-round success, especially at a time like January 4th where um, everybody's sort of away on their holiday and you're not sure what's going to happen. Um, so... The set, I had to um, change the setup a little bit. I had somebody coming in to sing the sequel with me, but they couldn't do it on the night. So I ended up doing the ballroom at the start with the gas mask, of course, and then My Heavy Heart, Wicked Worm Beast. And then at the end, I got the boys from On Tick to come up and we played Napkin together. Which was really cool. Um, shambolic, but um, awesome feels on that one. Um, it's already fading from my memory. So sad. It was a really great time though. I got videos of everybody um, playing, which I'll um, trickle out over better cut social media things over the next week or two and um, yeah it uh, looks like plans are that we will do it again sometime sometime soon I think so it's really cool and really good to get to play with glass shards for the first time big fan of glass shards and it's great to have somebody else in the room who's dressed up weird. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, have we talked about New Year's already? Do we do New Year's? Look, I don't know where I am. Uh, so I was, I've spent the time, no, do you know what, I didn't actually practice hardly at all for this gig. Um, I, did, I did lots of the practice for the two day apart ones, the New Year's and the tiny town. Um, Maybe I got practiced out or um, just a, a bout of demotivation, I think. I'm planning to sort of have a quiet January after the 9th. Um, so I'll still be doing these because I my goal was to do one a week for a year. But um, I won't have much to say or I'll talk about other music or something, maybe. Um, but all of the gigs so far this year have been really good. That's a fridge. Thanks, fridge. Fuck you, fridge. I must remember to turn that back on when I leave. Um, uh, and I had... And I had a nice meal after the gig. 
all right, music sound. I'm focusing on what I'm doing with music. Oh yeah, so I guess what I'm doing with music. I'm sort of trying to take a break and recollect myself for the month. Um, Because I, I sort of didn't ticked everything on my list last year. I released an EP. I released a couple of singles. I did two tours. Um, and the plan was to sort of repeat the process again this year. And the EP is in the works. Um, but... I think what I've learned from doing all of that stuff last year is there's a bit of a feeling of I I kind of did it because it's when you think of now I can do music properly it's like what you think you should do and a lot of that a lot of that stuff turned out to be um, like I'm still glad I did it I'm still glad I did I, I did it because otherwise I wouldn't have found out and I'd be spending the rest of my life thinking what if um, but like the physical CDs I could have gone without. You know, they use up resources to make, which I'm not entirely comfortable with, even though I did the cardboard packaging. Um, and <clears throat> and they're not um, they're not widely useful. Cars don't even have CD players in them anymore. They still come in handy for collectors, but if I can. Maybe think of something else for collectors to have their hands on, I guess. The t-shirts are still good because people love buying t-shirts and um, it's free advertising. So I will, I'm wood bang again, yeah. Um, and in terms of Oh, the tours were great, um, a lot of fun for sure, and good to get all those shows out in one go. But I think because New Zealand's so small, there's not a huge difference between going on a massive tour and um, just heading out for three days at a time, because you can get anywhere so easily. So I might sort of look out and do the math on that, the maths, as we say in New Zealand. Um, I'm thinking that might be the more cost-effective way because you you end up playing quite quiet days on a big tour anyway which um, you know, don't do much or make a loss or or what have you or, you can, or maybe doing covers gigs on the quiet of big gig days or something but there's probably only one day where covers gigs are still viable that originals aren't um, Yeah, and um, getting a band together is a daunting task again, and um, finishing the EP and stuff, so you know, a break would be nice anyway. To sort of uh, gather myself. Um, the singles. I think the sing the singles uh, the singles are a big thing in terms of actually getting yourself out there. Um, I I my plan was to aim to do three to four this year, and I'd like to still do that because um, that helps put yourself out again and again and only towards the end of this year have I realized how much it um of the, of the um brand awareness thing is really built up over time like people there's a lot of people that only like your page after they've seen you 10 times and um say oh I wonder what that's about or whatever and and even the people that don't just just to remind them that you exist in the zeitgeist or whatever is turned out to be a lot more useful. And I think my mentality was more in the like, 
the strategy of the right people will see it and go straight away. Um, but it's slightly different in practice. And um, EPs are still good. Um, potentially not physical, but but a wee body of work, you know, that you can promote for a long time. And more, just more music is great. I also want to... Because getting into the doing it for real thing has actually cut down my um, productivity at the very start end of like writing and writing music, making new songs and upskilling and stuff, which I'll be looking to find a better balance for this year, I think. Yeah. So I think in future if I can talk more about these ideas a little more than just recapping what I did in the week. Um, it's, a, it's a little more helpful for me to get my brain on the train tracks. Um, the score for today, I don't, I don't remember what really happened. Um, the number that came up in my head straight away is four, and I think I did one gig, but, but I didn't do any practice for it. Um, and with the holidays, it's been all scrambled up. So that's probably fair. And um, yeah. So, score for four, snowflake butthole. Seacrest out.